hello pisces welcome and welcome back you guys to pisces network we are going to be doing one of the readings that you all voted on which is what you don't see coming but should okay what you don't see coming but should so get comfortable you guys like the video subscribe put the brains in the comments if it's resonating let me know what you think of this reading okay how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. And if not, just know that it will get better. You just have to have a good perspective, okay? Try to change your outlook, all right? If you guys would like to book a reading, now is the time. 5% off. The code is below in the description box along with the link to my website so that you guys can book before Pisces season is over because... It's only a few days left on the sale. Happy birthday to all of you guys. I hope you're enjoying your birthday season. Also, um, if you guys would like to donate or contribute, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Now, let's see. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Oop creativity popped out father mother god for pisces when it comes to what they don't see coming but should what does pisces not see coming but they should see what does pisces not see coming but they should see a broke no let me stop <laughs> you might have a, that creativity card though is popping up in my mind you might have a burst of like inspiration or creativity in the near future um, what you don't see coming, but should is a broke man that's meant to be broke. This part, you, you're not supposed to help this person. There's a broke man who's meant to be broke and you, ooh, material gain. Uh, there's a broke man who is meant to be broke. You're not supposed to help this person. You about to have some money. You're meant to have some money. So you're meant to have some money and somebody else is meant to be broke. So if you're kind of feeling a little financially strapped right now and somebody else seems like they have money, it's about to flip flop or this person might be coming to ask you for something. I don't know. What else does Pisces need to know, but they don't see coming or what else should Pisces know, but they don't see at this time. All right. Both of these sad woman in relocation. So some of y'all may be moving. Some of y'all are going to get the chance to move or relocate. You may be feeling depressed or there's a sad woman who's relocating close to your area or something like that. I don't know. It's people, people around you. We have theft and birthday. Okay. So somebody could be trying to steal attention on your birthday and this woman is depressed. She's sad. This is not you. I don't think it's you. But I feel like somebody could be trying to make you sad or steal your joy on your birthday. Now, it could be this sad woman or it could be this broke ass man. OK. I don't know exactly how it works, but that's definitely a situation. Somebody's trying to steal your joy on your birthday and make you sad. Because you don't have any money or something like that, or they they're not giving you any money. And just know that this person is broke and they meant to be broke and it's going to flip. Don't worry. Whatever you might have asked them for on your birthday or whatever they should have given you on your birthday or whatever you feel like you were entitled to be mindful of that. Watch out for that. But at the same time, you know, if you know, then you know better than me. Whatever this is, just know. Okay. You that that money's going to come in. Or whatever it is that you asking for is going to come. What else should Pisces know but doesn't at this time? What else should Pisces be aware of, Spirit, but they don't know? I'm telling you, abundance. Ooh. And then we have gossip. That came up in the last reading. People are talking. Talking about people. Y'all remember that reading? Let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. Talk about love, love, love. Okay. <laughs> wow. Somebody's gossiping about how abundant they feel like your life is. Or they're gossiping about how abundant your life is, period. Like, 
What? We have intimacy. This is someone close to you who is aware of different parts of your journey. Okay. Somebody's gossiping about who you're talking to, who you're sleeping with, who you're friends with. What are you doing? Where are you going? Dot, 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 dot. Some of you are about to have the money to move or relocate, or you're about to have the money to like take a trip, or there's just some type of abundance that's flowing into your life and people are talking about it. I also just, I, I really do feel that somebody's trying to steal your joy on your birthday, or they're trying to take the attention off you because they're depressed and sad, especially if they're a woman or if they're a man, they're broke and depressed and sad and they want to make you feel that way too. What else should Pisces know, but they don't at this time? What else is Pisces unaware of, but they should know? Ooh, unexpected income. I'm telling you. Something that you've worked hard for, you're going to receive. And it's probably money. I'm telling you, it's like, there's a big focus on material items with you recently, Pisces. Like, on money, judication, and great fortune. Child. Yes. 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 Can the church say, hey, me? No, I'm just playing. I'm joking, y'all. Yeah. You don't see this coming, but you should. Because a, a decision was made in your favor, possibly in the courts. Okay. And there's some type of great fortune coming in or some type of wealth coming in and it's just you're fortunate like you may have been fortunate enough to win a court case or have a decision made in your favor this could be with a judge or with god yep there's someone close to you who is very upset about their financial situation now this could be a woman because the rich man is in reverse it could be a woman who is struggling with finances and feeling very depressed about their finances. And they're like, they might have to move. Now this could be you feeling that way because there's a broke person trying to like keep you in poverty. Yeah. I feel like, especially if you're a woman, there's somebody who's worried about you or you're worried about something. <clears throat> and I feel like spirit doesn't want you to necessarily be worried about it, though. Or there's somebody close to you who's really concerned about how much money you have, where you live, what you got going on. Okay, what else should Pisces know? But they don't. Poverty in reverse. I know that's right. I know that. I know that's right. I just heard that's right. That's right. What is that's from a Sierra song? I think. Dang, what song is that? I don't know. This is gift. And privileged lady. So somebody's about to give you a gift that's going to help you take care of things or you're going to be taken care of or you have just this spiritual gift of being taken care of and avoiding like poverty situations. Some of you are about to acquire a home or buy a home or you're getting some type of money back from an investment or some type of work that you put in. And it could have to do with a house. Maybe you're a construction worker. Contractor. Can I get one more card? What does Pisces not see coming but should? Ooh. I just heard... Was it that Usher? We trading places. Gonna get it, get it, get it. <laughs> no.
Now put it on me, baby, till I say, ooh wee. <laughs> Was that called trading places or am I tripping? Y'all hit the like button. That was trading places. Mm. But I feel like this is you actually literally trading places with somebody. Ooh. And I think it could be two people. I feel a woman here who's depressed and sad and tries to take the attention off of you and possibly gossips about you or a broke man who tries to put you in an impoverished situation. Take it how it resonates. These are people close to you though, cause family room and intimacy is here. So they know some of your personal business when it comes to your journey and what you've been through. Each of these people know different parts of your story. And what you don't see coming is that you're about to trade places with these people. So I just feel like you were never meant to be broke. I just feel like, <laughs> especially you might not be like some of you guys may watch these readings and be like, what the heck is she talking about? But it's for somebody. And I feel like even if this is not like about money, this could just be some type of like happiness that's coming into your life. Like if you've been feeling down, if you've been feeling depressed, if you've been feeling low, if you haven't been able to relocate to the city that you, you may not be broke, but you may just not be able to afford the dream home that you've always wanted. Or you may not be afford to live in the city that you always wanted, or you may not be able to travel to the places that you've wanted to see just in the world. And somebody else around you has been able to do these things or somebody else around you has been trying to manipulate your situation and now you're trading places with them. And I don't even think you're trading places with them. I feel like they tried to swap destinies with you or because we saw that fate card at the beginning. And I just feel like somebody has been trying to swap destinies with you or swap uh, fortunes with you because we saw the great fortune card as well. And they've been wanting to like ride your wave and they can't do that shit anymore. Okay. Wealthy man and marriage and then main male. And we saw main female. So if you're a masculine energy and you're about to come into some money or you're already very wealthy, you're like maybe the top position at your job or you're just doing really well for yourself. You may be about to get married and you have a woman who's sad. Because they're going to lose whatever dynamic of the relationship that they've had with you, even if you've already detached from it. So either way, like, I, I definitely feel a strong energy where if you feel broke as a man, you're not about to feel broke anymore. And even as a feminine, if you feel broke, you're not about to feel like you're in poverty anymore. Also, if you're a feminine and you feel down or depressed... That's, that's about to transition out of your life. And if you are a feminine, you may be coming in contact with this masculine energy who's meant to be the other half. There's also someone here who's losing a job. They're getting fired or laid off of a job or they can't find a job because no one is hiring. Now this could have been you. And there could have been a situation where maybe people were gossiping about this. But um, this is about to flip. It's about to flip, child. <laughs> and I just feel like folks ain't ready. Folks ain't ready. Oh, I'm trying to figure out what deck I want to use, y'all. Hold on. I definitely cleaned up and packed up all my decks. We're going to use this Everyday Witch Tarot. Yeah.
the number nine, two, three, four, ten, and five are significant. Possibly one as well. And I feel like for some of you, the only reason why you've been in an impoverished situation possibly is because someone came out of poverty and put you in poverty at the same time. Like it's like them coming out of poverty, put you in poverty, but you were never meant to be in poverty. So it was never going to last. Okay. What is this about? Show me what's this about when it comes to Pisces. What do they not see, but should the four of pentacles again, financial struggle or like trying to covet something, hold something back, page of swords, temperance. It's time for this money to be discovered. Now, some of you may have a situation where you're about to inherit a home and you can sell it and you're going to make a profit. This could be a relative's home. Okay. But there's some type of assets that are being discovered with the page of swords and the temperance card because you've been patient or there's information being discovered. You've been waiting on this for a long time. You've been very patient. And I feel like someone has been trying to hide this or covet this from you. This could even be like inheritance. Um, cause we saw the privileged lady, this could be inheritance, like from something that happened in your family. Somebody's going bankrupt and they're trying to hide this money. Okay. What does Pisces not see, but should spirit? What does Pisces not see, but should not a sore? Somebody angry about this. This is something that was not discussed or something that no one told you about. It's being discovered. Ace of Swords again. Looks very similar to the Page of Swords. The truth is coming out. Somebody's going to tell you the truth. And you were lied to about this or you just weren't told. You weren't told about this. There may be a document that's being discovered as well. There's someone communicating the truth to you about this, but it's like somebody's angry that you're hearing the truth or finding out the truth because they've been trying to hide this from you. What does Pisces not see but should? Eight of Swords. Yeah, because they were trying to keep you in the dark about this. I don't know if this is like your family because the family room card is definitely here. Feels like there could have been a relative that passed away or left an inheritance and it was supposed to be like split up possibly and they didn't split it up. <clears throat> they didn't give you your inheritance or they didn't give you your, your cut or your piece of the inheritance. Five of Pentacles. You were left out. Yeah, you were left out of it. Three of Wands. Somebody, somebody knows this, somebody sees this coming, or you can feel this coming, but you don't know where it's coming from. Or maybe you do know where it's coming from. Cause now you're being told about it. It just depends on where you are in the story, but I definitely feel like somebody couldn't find you or they were looking for you and couldn't find you or they expect for some type of poverty to come. Like somebody is worried. You can, ex ooh, look at that. I feel like you guys are worried or anxious because you're you're kind of like in this position where you, you don't know how you're going to do something. But spirit is telling you to expect, you asked for help and maybe people didn't help you, but because of that, spirit is going to help you. You can expect a shift in your finances. Something is going to happen. And I feel like it's going to happen pretty quick. Yeah, the eight of wands. 
Yep, Knight of Wands. Something new that you're doing is paying out. Yep, Ace of Wands, I'm telling you. Yep, and it's about to change the situation. And whoever's been causing contact, com, contact, <laughs> you're about to cut contact with people from your past who've been causing conflict in your life. Wow. Trading places. That's what I keep hearing. What should Pisces know, but they don't? What does Pisces not see, but they should? I keep forgetting how I'm asking the question. What should, <laughs> what's just, what, what, oh my God. What does Pisces not see, but should? Thank you, spirit. <laughs> the fool card. Freedom, 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 oh, freedom. I feel like you're going to take a road trip when you get this money. Someone close to you is gossiping about your life. Yep, Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, your options are about to open up. You're going to be able to pick what you want. Choose, pick and choose, pick and choose. You're going to be able to pick and choose, Pisces. Somebody's angry about this, though. They definitely didn't want you to find out. What's the four of pentacles? Okay. The world. Ooh. So you got the fool and the world. So this is a new cycle. Six of pentacles, queen of pentacles. This could have been inheritance from your mother, your grandmother, on the mother or the father's side. You're being given some type of wealth that you've already earned, though. What's this four of uh, pentacles with the world? The hierophant. This could be from a divorce. Six of swords, king of pentacles. Yeah. So we saw the six of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Now we see the six of swords and the king of pentacles. And we see the hierophant in the world card. <sighs> so... I feel like because you were committed to leaving a marriage or committed to leaving a family dynamic with someone, they were committed to withholding finances that they owed you. I mean, I, I'm not trying to keep saying the same story, but that's what I'm seeing. I just feel like you moved on from a situation. You were guided away from a situation that was conventional or like orthodox Or you decided to take a different path in your life and somebody wanted to covet you or keep you keep you locked up or they wanted to prevent you from having what you were owed. This could also be like, <clears throat> this could also be a situation where you may have siblings that, I don't, okay, how do I explain it? You, okay. Some of you may have parents who okay that's wrong some of you may be a product of cheating in a marriage like some of you may have siblings that are not total siblings like you may be a half brother or a half sister to siblings because one of your parents stepped out on the marriage and that's why they're trying to keep you out of like the inheritance because the father or the mother was considered a mistress or a side piece and you were a product of cheating as a child. And that could be why they're trying to keep you out of this. Like there's some th type of disconnect. It's like a family situation that you're disconnected from or somebody trying to hide the fact that you were a child that came out of wedlock or a child that was born to, to like a, cheating scenario or something like that 
or somebody may try to be holding it against you that you left the marriage and like they feel like you cheated. Maybe you had another child. I don't know what that exactly is about. This could also be you leaving a job or a company and somebody's just holding your money. Your story has been consistent this whole time. But I feel like somebody else's story has changed over time. But your story has never changed. I feel like you're committed to moving on. You're committed to moving forward. You're committed to like giving back. I feel like you use what's happened to you in this situation <clears throat> to try to like make progress either in your own life or to help other people. Very charitable type of work. And I just feel like somebody tried to attack you. Like it's like they either want, yeah, they, okay. What's this? 10 of wands and the nine of wands. Yeah. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Nine of wands, ten of wands. Somebody was trying to attack you, abuse you, burden you, keep you hidden, make you do all the work. Kind of like a Cinderella situation. They wanted to keep you locked up in the basement or an attic or something and have you secretly being the one slaving away. Okay, King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Whoever this man is, they wanted to have their cake and eat it too. It's like somebody wanted to profit off of your back or profit off of your labor. So I don't know if this is like, like I said, a job that didn't pay you. But it's like ever since you lost this job or whatever, or ever since you decided to quit, they've been trying to make your life difficult. Like, Or ever since you left this marriage, somebody's been trying to make your life difficult. Or maybe they're trying to get back at you. Maybe it's your father trying to get back at you because your mother didn't want to be with your father. I don't know. But it definitely feels like a situation where someone was doing that to control you or to profit off your back. They wanted to be able to control you, have their cake and eat it too, make you do all of the work, put the burden on you and just be able to sit down and chill and not do anything. But they still wanted to be able to have money. This could have even been like describing your marriage. You might have had a husband or a wife that was lazy as fuck. Sloth-like. Wanted you to work all the time. Slave. Cook over the stove. Take care of the kids. Bring in all the money while they just sitting on their fat ass not doing anything. What's the Knight of Swords reversed? Oop, I knew it. Mad. Mad. Aggression. Aggression. Five of Wands and the Six of Cups. There was a lot of arguments in the past or conflict in the past that was created because of lies that were told, trying to destroy your peace, disrupt your peace, trying to put you in a vulnerable position. But this person was setting their own fire. They 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 were starting their own uh self ablaze. Well what was it doing? They they was they was chopping off their own nose to spite their face. Chopping off their fingers to spite their hand. Like it's it's dumb. Cause whatever this whatever fire this person started, because I feel like this is somebody who who was acting like chicken little. You know what I mean? This feels like somebody who's chicken who who who's chicken or cowardly cowardly. And they like to hide behind. Hold on, y'all. Let me write it down. Chicken Little. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. They like to hide behind other people. Or they like to throw rocks and hide their hand. All this person gave you was grief. And the Six of Pentacles is here now again with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like maybe you went to court 
or they were trying to fight you so that they didn't have to pay you what they owed you. I don't know what this is, but it, it's either a job situation where you got done dirty or a marriage or like a family situation. Somebody was really trying not to fight. They, they was really fighting to try not to pay you your wages or pay you something that they owe you in the past. So they lied. They lied on you. So you couldn't get something. I feel like this is about work that you've done or something that you've worked on that you should have been paid for. Or it's just about work that you did that. Like this could have even been like. Um, unstable working conditions or or inadequate worker working conditions. Maybe it's workers comp. What was that reading we did where I was talking about your boss could have been, uh, dang. What was that reading we did, y'all? What was that reading we did? Wrongful termination. Y'all might want to go back and watch that. I did that reading a month ago. Wrongful termination. Or there was like a, a judgment that's being turned over. I keep getting that. So what is this eight of swords? Okay, page of swords. So somebody's discovering something that is going to get somebody like caught up. Or someone is afraid of you discovering something. Now, you might not know this. You might not know that you were wrongfully terminated. Or you might not know that you have a lawsuit against an old employer. And they're worried about you finding out about this. But see, even if you don't find out about it, even if you don't sue them, the temperance is basically saying that the universe is going to balance it out for all the work you did that you didn't get paid for or all the effort that you put in that, that you didn't get paid for or all the difficulty that you faced because somebody wanted to make it harder on you than it had to be. Yeah, it's time for the truth to come out. What's this Eight of Swords with the uh, Page of Swords? This is being discovered. Yep, the Nine of Swords, the Lovers. Yeah, somebody's worried about the choices they made. This could be a Gemini, strongly. Nine of Swords, Lovers, Eight of Swords, and a Page of Swords. That's all Gemini energy. So this could have been something that happened last year. End of May, early June, Gemini season. Or this could be a Gemini who's feeling like this. Or this could be somebody who's just having a whole lot of anxiety. But this person is worried about what they did, child. They made a choice. And the choice, the choices that someone made, they're starting to come out to the surface or they're starting to be discovered that someone was making some questionable choices or lying or omitting information. Um, now, this could also be you worried about certain things coming out about you or people telling lies about you, but you're not going to have to worry about that because I feel like your name is going to get cleared in a very public way. Yeah, the magician and the hangman. Oh, my God. Somebody could have tried to get you put in jail or somebody was trying to get you like uh, in, a, in a precarious position or put you in a very embarrassing position. This could be gossip. This was somebody manufacturing like lies or information about you so that you would be persecuted or so that you would be wrongfully judged or wrongfully terminated they were fabricating things about you fabricating shit somebody stabbed you in the back so that you would be embarrassed or you would be persecuted or put on front street or caught up or sent to jail. And now it's coming out. Somebody may have lied under oath. Wait, what's that song? I'm a lie under oath. Is that future? Yeah, I took a shot of Henry. I've been going crazy, crazy. Said a whole hood got it under investigation. Page of swords. They know they got that stick talk, that stick talk. You know they got that lick talk, that lick talk, okay? 
Ten million dollars cash for a friend. Started to serve up and geek ever since. Started to hit that he don't need ever since. They know they talk, they stick talk, they stick. I'm about to catch up on a new toy. About to this catch up on a new toy. <laughs> okay, you about to buy a new car. Or you about to uh, buy a new house or something. They can't understand us because they too soft. Tell a band band running straight through the machinery. I'm going to tell a lie under oath. Yeah, somebody lied under oath, bitch. <laughs> ah, somebody lied. They lied to the judge. Because the adjudication card can Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, y'all! Justice! Why well, was at the bottom of the deck? <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> Bitch, I can't even deal with this! Y'all. 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 Look at, look at her eye. Look at her eye. She see. She sees. She sees the truth. Justice always prevails, y'all. Ooh. You gonna come out the courtroom with your arms up like, yes! You gonna, you gonna be just looking just like this fool card right here. You gonna be like, yes! And I just, and I heard the freedom song. So somebody might be getting let out of jail because they were uh, lied about under oath or a lie was told about them in a, in a trial or a court case. Okay, or some type of funds are being released to you because you were lied on. Or you got some type of charges that are being dropped because you got lied on. I don't know, child. <laughs> What's the fool? Seven of Cups. Mm. I feel like this is options. Let me see. The Queen of Wands. And the Six of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody's going to be trying to figure out where you're getting your confidence from. It's because you feel free of this situation. Now, I'm, I'm, this is the thing. You might not have been paid back. <coughs> Somebody don't want me to say that, bitch. <coughs> <coughs> oh, they really been trying to choke me out lately. <laughs> I only like to get choked in certain situations, so I don't care who it is. I'm not going to stop talking. Um, <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. Now, this could just be a situation where you're finally letting go of this. Like this could be what has happened to you in the past and you're finally letting go of this. And some, and it's even like, okay, what I was trying to say for, I was so rudely interrupted was that you may not have been paid back for this conventionally, like kind of how we've been talking about, but you're getting paid back for it in other ways because you're someone who is very attractive. You're giving, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's just, you're, uh, you're attracting energy with like the law of attraction or just an abundance mindset or whatever it is that you're doing to where options are opening up for you. And someone is confused about how you're getting to have this new beginning when they did everything that they could to cause conflict and lie on you in this situation so that you would get locked up. They feel like they have so much evidence for you to get locked up and you're not getting locked up or they have so much, uh, against you and you're still going free or you're still feeling free and you get to have this new beginning. They thought they stopped you from being able to finally hit this fool card. They wanted to keep you in a perpetual state of the world card of constantly having to keep letting go, constantly having to keep moving forward, constantly having to keep building and rebuilding over and over again to keep you in that perpetual state of four of pinnacles and the world, and now you're moving into the fool card, and this person is confused. They're like, I told all the right lies. I talked to all the right people, but they're still not winning, and they see you winning and feeling confident and looking good. Wow. <laughs> Got this person fucked up in the head. Got them real messed up in the head. 
What's the fool in the seven of cups? What's the fool in the seven of cups? Oop. High priestess. <laughs> and I oop. And I oop, bitch. Okay. And I feel like you're about to get away from something in disguise. Robots in disguise. You're about to transform right before somebody's eyes. Girl, <laughs> chat. <clears throat> you're about to transform right before somebody's eyes there is a secret covering over you like there's a hidden covering whatever decisions you make you're making them in private and you're getting a lot of spiritual confirmations intuitively you're following your intuition when it comes to making decisions and then you're making good decisions you can expect a message or a confirmation to come in this could even be a dream with the seven of cups and the high priestess. Either way, it, it makes you feel free. Maybe you don't remember this. It may be confusing or it could be a little um, vague. <clears throat> or that could be why some of the messages been coming out a little vague and sounded repetitive. Because it's like this is about to happen, but it's because I feel like it's vague because we haven't experienced this energy yet, right? Like, I'm not saying that you guys haven't experienced positive energy. But what I am saying is like, with the high priestess and the seven of cups, also spiritual practitioners, tarot readers, we're whatever we've been predicting for the past, like seven, probably seven weeks, seven months, it's about to come, come true. It's about to actually like happen. I also feel like what tarot readers are getting are vague, like because there's a new beginning, there's a cycle that's ending and there's a new beginning and people are trying to hold on to these old cycles. They're trying to lie, cheat, steal, do whatever they can to prevent us as a collective of enlightened people from moving into the future. Because they're upset about their choices coming out to the surface and being persecuted. That's a collective energy, Pisces. But it's vague for me as a tarot reader and maybe other readers. And it's vague for you when it comes to your dreams and your intuition and your premonitions. Because we've never really seen this before. And it and it's, and it's on a... I feel like it's on a world scale. I feel like this is worldwide... I also feel like this is based in your communities individually and down to a molecular level of your own individual lives. Do you get what I'm saying? So it feels like because even though you've been through good things and you've seen good things and you've had good moments, I don't think you've ever felt it like this. I don't think we, I don't think any of us have a real reference to what this fool card is going to look like. So that's why it's not clear. And I also feel like we have the power to manifest what it looks like with our own intentions and we can choose the new beginning that we want and spirit is going to give it to us based on the energy that we put out because that's what's going to end up coming back and that's why I feel like it's law of attraction. But this is definitely a situation where it's like someone is confused as to what you're doing behind the scenes because you just feel free and confident and you're not tied down to whatever they tried to tie you down to and you're still making good choices oh okay that's crazy so what does this mean when it comes to pisces like what why is pisces getting these messages spirit this is what you what you basically don't know, but you should see coming. That's what this is. I keep going back. What you don't what you don't see but should. Cause I feel like you your memories or your dreams or your premonitions or your intuition is like unclear. Like you should see this coming, but you don't. The tables are about to turn, the energy is about to switch. You're about to trade places with some folks who have been wrongfully elevated to a position of power. And I feel like now you're going to be elevated to a position of power, but it's because it's the right thing to do. Because that temperance kept telling me that this is what spirit wants. This is how the energy is getting balanced out. 
because something was out of balance and it was out of balance too long. And now this whole process is spirit's way of balancing everything out. So what does this mean for Pisces in the near future? What does this information mean when it comes to Pisces life in the near future? The seven of cups, it's unclear. Uh, I'm just keeping it real. It could mean a, bit, a bunch of different shit, okay? But it's confirming that you're about to have options and choices and that you're going to be able to move forward. It's unclear where you're going to go or end up because it's like it's your choice. You're going to have a lot of choices to make. What does this mean for Pisces in the near future, spirit? Yeah, they're not going to tell me, child. <laughs> the hermit and the seven of cups they like girl we told your ass yeah six of cups and the world it just means that you're gonna learn new things because the past cycles that you've been through before are over you're about to learn new things okay what's the hermit and the seven of cups yeah king of pentacles uh, it could be a virgo coming in one of your options coming in or one of the choices that you have could be about a virgo man whether it's a love interest, a father figure, a boss, or a superior, whoever. Maybe even a business partner. And it's like you're having a choice of whether or not you want to keep doing the same thing you've been doing. Or if you want to switch it up. Okay. Four of Cups Tower. Period. Some of y'all, honestly, some of y'all have a wealthy man coming in and you're going to have like, this is like a business partner. For those of you who are interested in women, some of you like who are interested in women, you may have a wealthy masculine coming in to partner with you in business. For some of you who are interested in men, this could be a romantic love interest who, who wants to actually marry you or have a committed relationship. Or maybe even possibly a business partnership even for y'all. But there's a Virgo man coming in that you don't see. And I feel like y'all are going to end up working together. Because whoever this Virgo man is, is disappointed right now with the current situation of what's been going on. And they're ready for a change. Interesting. Let me see. Let's let's get a crystal card for advice. Pisces energy, Gemini energy strongly. Taurus, Libra, Virgo. Maybe Leo, Aquarius and Scorpio, dang. Immediately these two cards flipped out. Feed your creativity and loosen your grip. Yeah, so just be creative. Do what it is that you love to do. And don't try to... It's like they don't want you to have too much control or try to have too much control over the outcome or what happens in a situation. What is the overall advice for Pisces when it comes to these messages, spirit? Go with the flip. Yeah, shift your money mindset. So... I feel like that's already happening, though, with the poverty card in reverse. It's about believing that money flows to you effortlessly and understanding that you don't have to work hard to get money and understanding that, you know, there's enough abundance for everyone and those types of ideas. Okay. That you can do whatever it is that you want to do, that you're not excluded from any rooms or any places or anything like that, because you're worried about what other people are going to say. It's like that type of mentality. And then with that mentality, you just allowing things to happen the way that they naturally are meant to and the way that naturally is being set up by your spirit team and it won't have to be no problem. <laughs> Look, listen, you do all that and you just sit back and see the magic. Boom. Labradorite. Crystal Cola, start fresh. Boom. I'm telling you, it's time for you to start fresh and spirit wants you to see the magic of this unfold. And what I'm getting is definitely Cinderella energy. There's a reading members this is like one of the first readings i did in pisces member section and i think it was cinderella story or something like that and the wrongful termination video or something like that yeah and i feel like spirit is about to use the wand to paint the picture but i feel like it's really you pisces it's really you you're using the wand to paint the picture of what you want your life to be by reframing your mind and really healing 
And I see a lot of the work that you guys have been doing and you're about to see it pay off, but they're not even telling me like, I'm telling you, <laughs> I hope that helped you guys. I love y'all. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, put the brains in the comments. If it resonated, you guys interact with the video. It really helps to keep it um, recommended and to move through the algorithm. I really appreciate all of you guys who've been doing so. If you would like to donate or contribute to the channel, please use the PayPal or Zelle information below. It would be very helpful right now. Thank you so much for all of your support from everyone in any way possible. And if you want to book a personal 5% off code is below. I will see you guys next time, Pisces. And remember, this is our circle boost. Bye.